When most people hear the word insulin, the first thing that comes to mind is a drug that they've heard of that's injected by people with diabetes to control their blood sugar. While that is true, what many people don't know or don't think about is that insulin is actually a hormone that's essential for our cells to function properly. Just behind your stomach, there's a strange little glandular organ <laughs> called the pancreas. It's about six inches long. It secretes a hormone called insulin that helps our bodies use glucose, which is sugar, from the foods that we eat for energy. Every cell in every tissue of our bodies responds to insulin. Flowing in our blood, insulin binds to a receptor on a cell and then starts a series of events within that cell which helps deliver the energy that our cells need to function properly. In addition to helping deliver energy to our cells, insulin also helps us store excess glucose as fat for future use. And insulin helps keep our blood sugar levels from getting too high. So what is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is, quote, a condition in which the cells of the body don't respond as well to insulin. We're going to talk about why that happens in the next lesson. When cells become less responsive, it makes it more difficult for insulin to impact those cells. They're just not as receptive. As a result, it takes more and more and more insulin to get that cell to respond and allow the insulin to help deliver the energy the cell needs. This condition is called insulinemia where there's an abnormally large concentration of insulin in the blood. Think about it this way. The first time someone has a cocktail, that little bit of alcohol has a tremendous effect. But over time, the body becomes more resistant to the alcohol, which means it takes more and more alcohol to achieve the same effect. Ultimately, as more cells throughout the body become insulin resistant, the whole body then is considered insulin resistant. So, in a nutshell, insulin resistance means that first, the level of insulin in your blood is too high, and second, your cells aren't responding to insulin the way they used to. Now, why is this such a big deal? Because insulin resistance is at the core of so many chronic diseases today. It may not sound like a serious illness itself, but over time, chronic insulin resistance leads to many life-threatening diseases, including type 2 diabetes, and wreaks havoc on quality of life. So, we just talked about what insulin resistance is. In the next lesson, we'll talk about what causes it.